Hi all, let's play today against Leela ID 173 and let's play a 30 minute game. I'm going to start the clock for me. So a 30 minute game. Okay, let's try this variation again. That's, that's, <laughs> it's learned that the knight off somehow is better than E6. It's, it's playing a Sicilian knight off now. Okay. A dragon. All right. Now I know a little bit of theory about the dragon. So this will be interesting. I think bishop e3, knight g4, there's a check. So bishop e3 to start off with. Now queen d2, there's the knight g4. So I'll play f3 here. Queen d2, pretty standard stuff. Or do I want to play bishop c4? I think... Right, let's take the time. Take the time. <sighs> Bishop c4 versus queen d2. Let's do a quick check on what I know and what I don't know to be able to play the better one where my continuation is stronger. As an example, um, queen d2 or bishop c4. I think this brings a bell with maneuvers like knights c6 to e5, bishop goes back. And I think that position is quite dangerous. Okay, let's play bishop c4. Okay, this looks pretty standard stuff so far. Bishop b3. So knight a5. Okay. I've played, have I played h4 here. Okay, very aggressive. And now, so I want to um, capture with the C pawn or the A pawn there. If I played H5, B4, Knight D5, Knight B3, it forces me to capture with the A pawn, in which case Queen A5 might be more dangerous. So what if I played King B1 here? No, B4, Knight D5, Knight B3, there might be C tanks. As a useful option to sort of share that C file. So King B1 might be an important nuance here in this particular position. I don't think I want to take the pawn. That looks far too dangerous. Knight takes B3, A takes something naughty is going on there. Don't want to get involved in that. I think King B1 looks as that might be a promising move. Let's take some more time here. Let's have a look at h5 again for a moment. Knight takes, a takes. Yeah, b4. Knight moves back. This might be safe enough. <clears throat> for some reason, I think king b1 is a good idea. Okay, so b4 here. Okay, can I play knight d5? I'm sort of hitting that b4 pawn if I play knight d5. Hmm. If e6, I think I'm going to take, and I think d6 will be weaker after. Knight d5. Let's think about knight d5 for a moment. Hmm. What if instead knight e2? I'm getting rid of a key defender with knight d5. So I think I'm going to go with that, actually. Potentially a key defender. Now here, actually it seems <clears throat> a takes is plausible. If I play A takes rather than C takes, what advantage would there be? I'm potentially weakening this diagonal here yeah, fatally on C takes. If there's knight takes, something like bishop f5 later. So actually, I think I'll go with A takes. Okay, pretty forcing stuff 
on my D5 pawn. Isn't h5 dangerous? Queen d5, hg, or bishop h6 first? Uh, queen d5, I got, might not afford to be able to do that. Queen d4 coming in. So d5 is really under fire, isn't it? Hmm. What if I played bishop h6? If queen d5, bishop g7, king takes h5, hmm. bishop h6, queen d5, bishop g7, king g7, h5. It looks as though that could be dangerous. More dangerous than h5, queen d5, because if bishop h6, there's queen d4. So if I immediately just sack this pawn to try and weaken the king, it seems a reasonable proposition. I think moving the knight back. Do I know about moving the knight back? It looks as I'm opening up this bishop. There's bishop f5. I think the key point is there's bishop f5 actually. <laughs> the knight's got to stop bishop f5. So in that case then... If the knight's got to remain there to stop bishop f5, I think h5. Oh, h5. Hmm. Oh, I forgot my move order. In fact, I should have played the other move order. Oh well. I might just blow my position. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm hoping to get something from here. Hmm. But now. Maybe, maybe bishop h6 is okay here. Uh, taking on b4. What's wrong with taking on b4? Can I take on b4? I'm not opening up my king. Um... I just feel like I'm a pawn down for not much. If I play... Oh, I'm a pawn down for not much, aren't I? Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so either I don't know. It looks doesn't look appetizing. Nor does that. I think um, queen takes. And the rook can move off. So I'm just gonna pull down. That's, that's, that's not nice. Um. I right, grab this pawn. Come back and then bishop h six. Okay. Oh, am I going straight into a massive attack? Oh, the queens are coming off now. Okay. Hang on, that has weakened d6, though. So I'll go back. Okay, okay, I don't mind that. Maybe it was worth taking that d pawn. That might block the bishop in later. F4 here. If I took there's pressure on it, I think rather I'd have F four instead, I think. And put my position under loads of pressure because it keeps the bishop sort of straight jacketed it uh in the position, it's restricted the position of play F four. Take away that E five square and just target D six. Yeah, I think F four. If it takes here mm, 
Let's go F4. Oh, I've got to be careful about my king getting mated by talking on B3. This, this diagonal is dangerous. Um, if I can neutralize that bishop, bishop D4, though. So if I take him undoubling the pawns, I want to neutralize the bishop with bishop D4 without dropping either F4 or C2. So maybe G3 there. Hmm. Okay. I think G3 with the idea of bishop d4. Right, so bishop d4 here. If e3, uh, rook d1, I think rook d3, bishop b5, e3, rook d1. Yeah. Well, that's been tested, blimey. Okay. So rook d3, bishop b5, rook d1. There's a huge amount of pressure here. Rook c1, am I getting blasted off the board if I play? I got, so I've got 18 minutes. Rook c1, rook c1. Or maybe B3 is plausible. Takes, takes. King A2. Unless I'm getting mated there. Um, it's possibility. Yeah, no, I don't want to get mated. Uh, maybe Rook C1 is slightly safer here. Yeah. Then B3 because yeah, takes a check. King moves, rook moves, and then there's rook a8. Oh, crikey, there's a lot of pressure here. <clears throat> I think rook c1. I'll go with rook c1. Right, let's take off one of the horrible things. Can I play? B3 here, if takes takes king a2, I think mean, there's time to make me. B3 here. And now king b2. Alright, so bishop e4 with a vengeance on c2. Let's hit. Uh, if rook d1, bishop f3. Okay, so actually maybe rook e1. If bishop e4, knight c3. Okay, staying off the light squares. Knight c3, or maybe c4 and then knight c3. Just to sort of fix down the d pawn. If I played c4 and then knight c3. I think. Right, knight c3, there's rook c4. Rook c3 here, and then king c2. Just to sort of unpin things and put pressure on e3. That could be a good way of doing it here. Uh, rather than, yeah, I want to put pressure on e3. Okay. <laughs> Put pressure on e3 with c takes and uh, knight c1. If c5 d4 looks too much, so. I think uh, C takes and knight C1. 
let's see one here I think So most of my pieces are now on dark squares away from the bishop. Um, knight d3 to e5, that would be good to try and collect. e3, that's h4, knight e5. h4, I can take, okay, knight d3 it is, I think. Now knight e5, there might be h4. <clears throat> this check here is probably dangerous. H H four is dangerous, but I don't know what I can do about H four particularly. Um, let's see. All right, tie me down to C two. Could unpin there. Maybe King D two or G five. Thought my stuff is going to be undermined soon. Um. Check King F six. Knight D seven check. So check King H six. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm under huge pressure here. Huh? Okay. There's also H four coming. Um, maybe uh, to try and get two connected pass pawns. Uh, I mean, is King D3 plausible? <clears throat> D7, D8. Uh, this, is, this is pretty tricky. I can't use quite a bit of time here already. Uh, uh, this is pretty tricky. Uh, I could try 90. Oh, H4. Okay, it's horrible. Is this just a horrible position, basically? <laughs> King D2 and Rook E2. Ah, uh, the B three is going to drop. Mm. Maybe King D three is an improvement. Uh, I'll try King D three, maybe. <laughs> okay, if I take Rook D four, it's not very pleasant. If it wins that Rook. Can I play Knight C four then? Try and break the connection of the Rooks. So take this guy. <laughs> uh, try and stop this pawn somehow. Rookie five, rook h five, get behind the pawn or not? And so king c two. One ninety three. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's all pretty uh, tricky. King uh, F two, maybe. Uh oh, can I can I draw this? I should be able to draw this, right? 
What's a rook spawn? Yeah, it looks pretty drawish to me. Don't think I have to do much, but avoid losing the rook. Game over drum session. Oh, I'm feeling a bit knackered actually. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad to have something from that game. I can only say it's like being under relentless pressure. And <laughs> yeah, hard work. Okay, this was the normal mode. Uh, with 200 plants on the demo website pretty tough opponent. Anyway, I hope you got something from it. Blimey. Okay, thanks very much.